So the basic premise of today's cooling experiments with Alex, I super don't know why this is here, <laughs> is that the MacBook Pro 2018 does a pretty uh, subpar job of keeping its Core i9 CPU cool if you opted for the tricked out Core i9 model. Well, we think we can fix that using the same cooling principles as we were able to fix the Razer phone and it's throttling while gaming with. That is to say, liquid metal cooling. But then there's also like a radiator and a reservoir and some laptop stands and some water blocks. So I have no idea what the sh is going on today. Why don't we all find out together? Cable Mods Configurator now includes a customizable RGB backplate that can enhance the look of your GPUs and SSDs. It's compatible with R-Sync, RGB Fusion, Mystic Light Sync, or Cable Mods' own kit. Find out more at the link below. You pulled out all the stops. Like, there's two iFixit kits. Yeah. What are we doing? Oh, I actually just had a difficult time getting it open, so I thought that I might have, like, stripped one of the screws, but it's actually just the P's and not the T's, so I was just an idiot. So step one of any cooling project is, wasn't me, rip open the device you're trying to cool. So I will take you up on one of these kits. These things are kind of nerve wracking to open. Cause they're, how, mu how much is this one? Five grand? Uh, yeah, grand? five grand-ish. Like, like it looks so much easier in iFixit's video. How do they do that? Are you free? Yes. There we go. Beautiful. You can really tell what gives it the rigidity though. Yeah, that's pretty nice. That's... Can we make a computer case out of a solid block of aluminum? Gorgeous. How many bits would you go through? So do you want to know my really bad idea? That probably oh, won't yes. work. Sure. You want to water cool it. Yeah. I really don't know if this is a very good idea. <coughs> I don't even see how the heat pipe comes off, to be perfectly honest with you. Usually it's um, more apparent. You have to take the whole board off and the screws are on the other side. Okay, so what are we taking off? Um, trackpad first, I think. You have to take the trackpad out? Yeah. Why? How are we keeping track of all of this? If I'm placing them in here. I will be back. <laughs> Jeez. So lower are these ones. Trackpad upper are these ones. Mm -hmm. um, trackpad Clippy chums. Also, there's T4s and T5s in here. No, that's fine. I'll just draw the fans on there. There. Is that pretty self explanatory? Yep. It's got a bigger head. Ah, uh. <laughs> uh, where'd those two come out of? It was right here and right here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what was the purpose of this screw being shorter? There's plenty of room for it to go further <laughs> if it needed to. Oh, they're just a different screw. Yeah, different screw. I think your trunk. I don't know how you're not getting it with the T4. It's T3. Do all these have to come out? Oh my god. Yeah. Right? Ugh. Oh my god. Is this yet another this is yet another different screw? Holy ball sack. So that's top left. And there's more screws underneath that. Oh wow. So this little thing hooks on a little thing here. <laughs> then goes down to why you do this. Perfection minus. I think this whole thing is a mistake. That's <laughs> what I think. Now I just kind of want it to go back together and work. <laughs> I think we're close. Um, I'm starting to think we need to do away with the grand plans of water cooling and whatever this is. So. Oh, but it would be so fun. Fun? Fun, yes. Are you having fun? <laughs> How many types of screws does it take to get to the fun? 16. <laughs> I think we're just gonna have to peel off the adhesive. Uh, Something's holding. Oh, there must be a ribbon under there. Yeah, Are you for real? Yeah, look, there's a ribbon right here. I just missed it because it's super small. There we go. Now we can probably lift it up this way. That's it. This is a royal pain in the ass. I actually feel legitimately very bad for people whose job is to fix MacBooks all day. Oh, that's their cooling solution? Yeah. No wonder the thing thermal throttles. How much does it even <laughs> weigh? I actually want to know. 
Okay, never mind why I have this thing. For your drugs? 50, three or four-ish grams. By contrast, a desktop processor would get a cooling solution that weighs in the neighborhood of 1.2 kilos. That's a pretty excessive cooler, but. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's true. I don't Not even fun. think liquid metal is gonna solve this. Like. No, it'll help. Like that looks like some not great thermal paste. Well, we have to try. I mean, we don't have to try, but. <laughs> like, <laughs> We're Linus Tech Picks, we have to try. Yeah. So it's conformal coating time then. Uh, oh, okay. Wow, that's a lot. Can I help pick just, some of that up or? Yeah, you know, let's just spread that around. No components are dying here today. You can say with a straight face that they're not dying because they're dead already, or? We might want to get the heat gun out to have that dry a bit faster, though. <laughs> well, look at it this way. MG Chemicals says that you're supposed to do three coats, but we'll probably be fine with one. That's really not how painting things on works. That moment when people are watching a video on YouTube, and they are literally watching us watch paint dry. So this is it, liquid metal time. Yeah, do you want to do it? Sure, I know how to liquid metal. Hell yeah, brother. Blah. I'm gonna prime it. Do you want to give Made them- that mistake last week. <gasps> Whoa! Ah! Why are you okay. doing that over the board? You don't have a lot of time for this. Oh, there's like a, a ball of it. Oh, that's kind of sketch. Yeah. There we go. Okay, we're good. Oh, there's some there. We should get that. <laughs> I think it could use a touch mirror. I, I don't think so. All right, fine. Maybe just try spreading it around. Fade just fade. Hey, nice. actually, that's maybe even too much. Wow. We should do ASMR liquid metal application. I bet, I bet someone on the internet would be into it. Like, I'm not really a fan of ASMR, but I could probably get into that. Good for ASMR. You don't want to put on too much liquid metal, because then if it seeps out, which is an especially big problem for something like a laptop, which might get stored on its side in your bag, if it seeps out, it might get on other stuff and short it out. What the actual f <laughs> <laughs> Okay, <Yeah>. And we're done. <laughs> I really want to hear an ASMR cover of Chop Suey. <laughs> this is such a surprisingly stressful operation. Yeah. I was expecting it to be more like... A normal all, laptop? Yeah, all of the other laptops that I've taken apart, which has been like... <clears throat> and like... Five minutes later, you're done. I'd like to think you go a little more carefully than mm -hmm. but pretty much. It's no wonder Rossman didn't think the iMac Pro would be a big deal. Like, compared to tooling around with these all the time, it's nothing. So we are now liquid metaled, and now we have to put this back together. Yeah. Do you remember where the screws go? There was one that went on the bottom, right? So we need- No, that was on the top. It was just really hidden. It's possible that there's, that, like, this is similar to, and I, no, I'm, like, quite sure. Okay, so there's nothing that goes in on the bottom. Not without permission, anyway. Right, we can put all the connectors back on. Yeah, don't go gently. Is that like a Dylan Thomas reference? Who's Dylan Thomas? Poet. You don't get to quote a poem if you don't know who it's by. That's, like, actually a rule. It's a screw <laughs> that goes into a screw. It's screwception. <laughs> no, no wonder we couldn't figure that one out. Holy crap. Can you imagine if we had tried to do this without the project mat? We would have been so screwed. Wow, that's really obnoxious. Like you have to have this whole thing on. What is this? That goes on this little peg here. So you sort of get it in position and then give her a push. Fun. So unnecessary. <laughs> Everything about this is unnecessary. It could just sit on there and you could just screw it in. Oh, we probably shouldn't do that quite yet. 
I want to see it. Fan spin! Uh oh. You don't think that we like need these, do you? I doubt it, but let's put them in anyway. Like it's not hard. And it wasn't. It is. Oh, ha -ha. <laughs> oh goodness. Wow, that was stressful. <laughs> that moment when the delay is just a moment too long for comfort. <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> you, you need screws in the MacBook for it to turn on. We know that now. What the <laughs> hell, Apple? Why? That needs to be a gift, that moment when you guys just, just turn off? Yeah. Okay. Maybe it was just unhappy because it tried to resume from sleep. And actually it was like unplugged for a while. <laughs> uh, hold on, let me, let me try and log in here. Okay, trackpad's working. Shall we get some after results? Yes. <laughs> Find out if our operation was worth the stress and time? So not cool. Get it, because it's about the MacBook Pro. All right. So we're looking for 1083. 1083 is what we had before. Okay. Because yeah, didn't we get like 1600 in the Asus? Yeah, but that was with blowing the on it. <laughs> Fair. Yeah, it doesn't totally count. Fans haven't even ramped up yet. Are they working? Great question. 1068. Okay, that's within margin of error. Should we just hit it again and... Sure. No, it's ramping. I think. Yeah, yeah, it's ramping. Really slowly. Interesting. Does it normally take that long to ramp up? Yeah, I think that they're pretty on the go by the end of the Cinebench run. I wonder if the liquid metal is helping us with that. 1086, so... So exactly the same. <laughs> so, okay, performance the same. But now let's try the longer test. Normally use the F keys, but... What, you don't like the touch bar? <laughs> I really hate it. Bitch, cry some more. The Blender BMW test stock took 6 minutes and 11 seconds, and with the liquid metal it was 6 minutes and 7 seconds. So basically the same. So a big fat waste of time. And the classroom took 22 minutes and 58 seconds stock and took 19 minutes and 26 seconds with liquid metal. No! So that's actually pretty good. That's like 13% faster or something like that. That's actually like a pretty big improvement. So there was a point to doing this. Yeah. And then how loud was it towards the end of that second test there? Like spooky quiet almost. Well, that's fantastic. So once again, liquid metal saves the day. And once again, we are not recommending that you try this at home. This actually comes in the box of the liquid metal. We don't recommend doing this because the risk of damaging your hardware during the disassembly, the application of the liquid metal, and the reassembly is quite high, not to mention that we have definitely voided the warranty on this machine in the process. And the, uh, the benefit is maybe 10% to 15% faster renders, which is actually pretty sick. But yeah. over time, liquid metal does actually need to be periodically reapplied. And that's not a great user experience. No. No, it's not. I'm just really sad that we can't put blowing matrons on the bottom. Yeah, me too. We'd have to like actually cut holes in it because of the whole case extrusion stuff, or intrusion that. stuff. Mastrop is back with another deal, this time on the Sennheiser Openback HD 58X Jubilee headphones. These were tuned by Axel Grell of Sennheiser and Mastrop based on feedback from the community. They feature new 150 ohm drivers and a colorway inspired by the HD 580s. They're clear, fast, with a dynamic sound profile, and they've got a glossy black headband, elliptical ear cups, and replaceable soft velour ear pads. They've got a detachable six foot cable, and you can get yours today at the link in the video description. So, thanks for watching, guys. If you just liked this video, then you probably work at Apple. But if you liked it and you like our fix for the MacBook Pro and its thermal issues, you can hit that like button, get subscribed, and maybe consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured at the link below. So we'll maybe what? We'll have a MacBook down there, we'll have some thermal grizzly down there, Octung, and all of that. Oh, it's also a Surface laptop in there too. Throw that down there? Yeah. Sure, yeah, why not? 
<laughs> uh, while you're down there, we'll also have a link to our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one, and our community forum, which you should totally join. <laughs>